What's up, guys? It is I once again, Mr. Gamer 990, and welcome to another part of our Let's Play on Metal Gear Solid. And uh, last episode, guys, uh, we took out that noisy fly uh, liquid, our uh, little baby brother, and uh, yeah, we're on top of the communication tower B. And let me just uh, load game. Uh, I really hate the circle X button, I really do, but what can you do? It's a PS1 classic, uh, but yeah, so let's uh, just log out from this thing. And here we are, on top of uh, Tower B. And uh, we're going to go uh, for the elevator, which Archon says is working. But the funny thing is, guys, the elevator wasn't always... Uh, broken or not functioning well like that. I mean, there's something going on in that elevator. I know it, but uh, I'm just playing along with the mystery behind what's going on, and you'll find out exactly why the elevator was working one minute, next minute it's not. It's one of those uh, strange uh, uh, phenomenons, if you will, that can't be explained unless you uh, show it, or uh, yeah, but uh, let me to uh, go straight for the uh, elevator. I'm just trying to be sure that those fucking cameras aren't there. And yeah, they're there. Oh yeah, those cameras are there. But thankfully we got uh, three chaff grenades. I don't know if that will do shit for us, but just to be sure, I'm going to uh, equip the body armor like so. And uh, um, snake, please. Thank you. Good boy. And uh, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, yeah. Ah, uh, lucky, 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 wait, did I just throw two shot grenades? Guys, either I'm smart or I'm stupid as fuck, I don't know, it's probably the latter, but damn, I had to use two chaff grenades, really, nice Mr. Gamer 990, but hopefully we'll still be able to uh, avoid the camera if we're fast enough, and we will. Let me just equip my machine gun. Good. And uh, we need to... Wait, 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 wait. No! Good, 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 good. And uh, we need to try to get past the last one, which we will. Oh, we will. If it does shoot us, uh, fuck it. I don't care. I mean, it's just one small, it's a pity, uh, machine gun turn that loves to sting us. Like a fly. Like a certain fly we just took out in the last episode, and we need three more rations, but yeah. So at least now we can get out of the uh, this place, I think, at least. I don't know if we can, but I hope we can. Uh, yeah, the elevator's right up there. I just want to go down here quickly to see if there are some more items, and I doubt there is, but uh, yeah. So, we need to go back up. And... Uh, I'll come back to the elevator as soon as I am um, sure that uh, there aren't any items to collect in the uh, door over here, so I'll see you guys then. There weren't many items over in Tower A. Well, I didn't bother checking because, you know, we had to go all the way up or all the way down, and I just want to bother with that shit, so I'm going to equip the body armor and uh, here we go. You guys probably have an idea of why I'm equipping the body armor in the elevator. You guys will probably get the picture, especially people who played uh, Metal Gear Solid before. But uh, yeah, you'll find out right now. Huh? Oh, yeah, <laughs> maximum weight capacity. And uh, Archon, good old Archon, will explain to us what exactly is going on. So, uh, um, what the fuck's this? Oh yeah, we're in the uh, first person view. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, Khan. Snake, there's something I forgot to tell you before. What? There were five stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. Yeah, so? If you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first grade math class. I thought I'd get one for you. So I went back to the lab and... Yeah? The four suits were missing. Also, about the elevator that I checked out, it's really strange. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. 
The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? About 135. But that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would take at least five people to go over that limit. Look out, Snake! The guys who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you! <laughs> now you know. Too late, Snake! Now die! Come on, bitch. Try me. Wait, I can actually talk to them. Oh fuck, I need to uh, back away. These bastards are still alive. Come on. Shoot, shoot. What the fuck was that? Sorry for the uh, lack of commentary before I take these fuckers out. Bring on, bitch. I like how we're playing a cat and mouse. I'm shooting everywhere like a maniac. CQC and uh, hand hand combat. Gotcha, bitch! Yeah, come on. Dude, I'm right here. Dumbass. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, bitch. Oh my god, these guys have a lot of health. Wow. Come on, come on, come on. The body armor really helps. I'm gonna take these guys out and fuck you. Come on, come on, bitch. Bingo was his name, oh. Guys, we did it. Nice. That pose, though. Guys, I wish this was on the PS4 so I could take a screenshot of this using the select button on the PS4. But that's a fucking good shot, man. Oh yeah. Guys, I'm not gonna say it again because I know it's tiring, but just one, just one more time. Solid Snake is a motherfucking badass. I mean, guys, I hate that word, honestly, but this is one of the few times I'll say it, and I always will say it. Snake is a fucking badass. Oh man. I am Snake's bitch forever. Solid Snake is love. Solid Snake is life. Oh yeah. I heart Snake. But uh, let me try to go to the next area. Oh, we have some chair grenades. Oh yeah, stairs. Uh, fuck you, stairs. <laughs> oh man. We wouldn't have to fight those uh, motherfuckers. Uh, if the stairs wasn't broken, but what's funny guys is that we were in the elevator for a long time and uh, the uh, stairs that was broken, it wasn't uh, too far down and uh, so basically we were fighting for like 3 minutes, 4 minutes, 5 minutes, however long it takes to fight in actual combat, real life combat, not in a game or shit, but uh, we were there for a pretty long time and the elevator should have been down here. And guys, honestly, I'm not really against people trying to uh, escape from reality through games, but I'm just not that kind of guy who's like uh, escapism uh, from realism, and that escapism for people being games. I mean, I'm not that kind of a person or a nerd, but yeah, I'm just saying only. My form of escaping from reality is talking with uh, my beloved friend. My beloved friend being, of course, close to me. And uh, fuck you, uh, damn Turrent, fuck you. But yeah, everyone has their own form of escapism. I just don't agree that uh, games is that kind of form, but yeah, I'm in the mi minority of that. How the fuck did that goddamn uh, Turrent shoot me? Motherfucker! Fuck you! I'm dead. How? How is it possible? Let's try this again without dying this time. Please. Oh man. Fucking Torrents. Yeah, screw you, bitch. Screw you. Okay, again, again, again. Come on, chap grenade, chap grenade. Don't fail me now. Bingo was his name. Oh. 
Oh yeah, I love that. That's my own catchphrase. Word. <laughs> but what's behind uh, this uh, door? Level six. Oh boy. Yep. It's a boss fight. Oh, it's a boss fight. <laughs> Guys, you know what, who's gonna fight us here. I just have my uh, PSG1 equipped. Body armor for sure. And uh, for uh, rations, I could use five, but because of that bullshit, uh, uh, like uh, Liquid, the Snake, I'll obey your brother and those guards in the elevator. This will be a pretty challenging fight and we have a ration, nice. Uh, I guess there is a god. Well, I, I was I believe in god, but I really uh, didn't expect god to be present in uh, this game. But yeah, so let's uh, uh, wait a sniper wolf. And there she is. Yep. Aiming at us. Yeah, bitch, you see me? Fuck you. The finger to your face. I hate that cunt I do. Snake, are you okay? Otacon, were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's aiming at me in the middle of this blizzard. <laughs> it's her. Wolf? Wow. Sniper wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely You sound happy. You sound happy. You sound like you're happy. <laughs> no, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please. She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. Listen to me, kid. She's a merciless killer. I can see you perfectly from here. Fucking bitch. <laughs> I told you. I never quit the hunt. Now you tear your face out. Wolf. No, I you will, can't. Yeah. Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good oh. if you can hit me in this storm. You see, <laughs> women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do oh, this. Oh, really? Snake. Try me. I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake <laughs> for a sniper to reveal our location. Is that right? Well, I'm going to send you a love letter, my dear. Do you know what that is? It's a bullet straight from my gun to your heart. Please, I'll wolf. pass. Snake, no! Quiet! Don't get in our way. Now yeah. I'm gonna pay you back for Meryl. You oh, she will. are so weak. You can never finish what you start. Guys, I am getting the impression that Wolf hates men. And you know what? I, I don't like women like that, so honestly, I'm gonna blow her fucking brains out. Let me just uh, find a spot. But man, she a she is a misandrist. A misandrist is a woman that hates men, but uh, yeah. I'm just gonna fucking find out where she is. Oh, there you are! So, uh, do you hate men, really? Well, nothing against women, but I hate you! Hey, bitch, you're on. I see you're on, and uh, let me just. Wait! Are you kidding? Are, are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Man, how could I not shoot her damn arm? How? And I'm probably going to run out of that uh, medicine or whatever. Wait until we'll. Which side? There. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, I shot her! I fucking shot her! Guys, you saw it. I shot the bitch! Oh man, how? How is it possible I didn't shoot her? It's like magic, I guess. But uh, man, this will be a very long fight. A very long fight indeed. There we go. Keep your eyes on this bitch. Hello, Jean Matthew. I love you, brother. I love you. And uh, we need to wait until this fucking bitch, this misandrous bitch, shows herself and fuck you! Yeah. You wanna keep talking shit about men? Oh! Touche. Touche. Oh yeah, guys. This is personal. I mean, it was personal already when she shot uh, Meryl, but now. <laughs> This is way too personal and uh, important for me to beat her or Snape to beat her because I'm gonna prove this bitch wrong. It doesn't matter what gender you are, 
What matters is who's the best sniper and the best soldier. Fucking bitch. Guys, I'm, I'm right, what I'm doing right now is cheating, but I'm out of uh, PSG 1 ammo and I want to murder this bitch so bad. So I'm going to use any means necessary to eliminate her and uh, head for this bitch. Fuck on. She's good and fuck you. Guys, I hate her with a passion. Until I get some PSG 1 rounds, I'm going to keep using the Nikita. Oh yeah, Nikita is fucking awesome. Screw you. Yeah, screw you. Now let's uh, try two more times. Depending on uh, how tough Wolf is, and she is really tough. I mean guys, I don't really have a problem with her as a soldier. I mean, she's, she's very good as a soldier. My issue with her, and a lot of women in general, is the fact that they hate men. I mean, I can't uh, generalize all the feminists as like that, but really, this woman right here is pissing me off. I don't see gender as anything but shit. Like I see uh, this whole idea of equality uh, as shit, but uh, this woman right here is one of those kind of women I hate so much. And fuck you! That is for real, guys. I mean, honestly. When I said it was personal, it was personal, and uh, at least uh, the bitch is dead. <laughs> that was for Meryl, and yeah, that's for real indeed. But uh, let me just uh, quickly equip the SOCOM, good. And guys, when I rage like that, it's real, oh it is. But let's see what uh, our Wolfie has to say in her last moments, the cold. Waited for this moment. I am a sniper. Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle. Concentrating. <laughs> I am a long shot. You cannot save me. I'm sorry. Please. End it. Just finish me quick. Now I feel bad. I occurred. Occurred. I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. Occurred. Occurred. As so in a rock? Occurred is a... I was born on a battlefield. Place in the rock. Raised on a battlefield. The Middle Empire, East. Empire, sirens and screams. Is she Middle Eastern? Hunted like dogs, day after day. Raven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Sad. Each morning yeah. I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I stare at the morning sun. And pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then he appeared. Salah Din. My hero. Or Saladin. Saladin. Big boss. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean big boss? I became a sniper. It's actually uh, Salah Hadin. Watching everything through a rifle scope. The proper pronunciation. Now I could see war. Not from inside, but from the outside. As an observer, I watched the brutality, the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. Mankind is stupid. Fuck mankind. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. I feel her. I do. But 
I have shame for myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. In Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglinek, and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true. We're all for sale at some price or another. But you're different. Untamed. Solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Free. Who are you? Are you Saladin? Wolf. You spared Meryl's life. She... She was never my real target. I don't kill for sport. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. Snake is... Uh... I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. Snake is big boss mistake. For someone to kill me. This bastard. A man like you. It's sad. A hero. <laughs> no. Please. Set me free. It's like he says, he ain't no hero. Never was, never will be. Then again, what is a hero? Why? Archon. Why? I loved you. dies with their gun. Indeed, as are all soldiers. War is sick, to be honest, guys. Save everyone. This is war. Returning it to its owner. I don't yeah. need a handkerchief. War is Why? cruel and disgusting. I don't have any more tears to shed. <gasps> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. I'll hang on to my codec. I want to keep helping. You can you leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. This is the best part right now. What are you fighting for? Amazing scene you're watching. Huh? Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. <sighs> okay. I'll be searching too. You know, guys, there's a lot of uh, similarity between Solid Snake, Hideo Kojima, the creator of the Metal Gear Solid series, and the people in the game being uh, his crew members, the people who worked with Kojima on these games, Kojima Productions, they are like his family and how uh, there's so much between uh, uh, there's so much between Solid Snake and uh, Kojima that's similar and uh, Kojima-san is uh, 
he is uh, really someone who changed not just the gaming industry, he has uh, brought a new form of uh, storytelling which uh, few uh, people uh, can actually uh, accomplish in games. But right now I just want to quickly use a chaff grenade because of that damn camera. And uh, yeah guys, uh, moments like those are why I love uh, Hideo Kojima and why he has my uh, utmost respect. He is not just uh, my hero, but one of my uh, greatest inspirations. And guys, you know how much I hated Wolf, but after that moment, I just don't want to feel anymore. I mean, uh, she didn't like deserve to go out that way, but yeah, that's war for you. War is uh, sick, disgusting, and people, mankind in general, are vile creatures. I'll never stop. Uh, believing that because it's true and that someone uh, proves me wrong and I doubt that will ever happen but yeah so we just need to uh, collect uh, as many items as we can find over here and uh, we'll head for the next area so I'll cut back to you guys uh, shortly guys check this out huh? there's a fucking parachute over here what the hell? Liquid. Colonel, listen to me. I found a parachute near the wreckage of the Hind. A parachute? <clears throat> you don't think that Liquid survived? Oh, he did. As soon as he jumped out of the pilot's seat, he'd be sliced up faster than an onion on an infomercial. So what's that parachute doing there, then? I have no idea. A trap. Either that, or a message to me. Meaning I'm not dead, I suppose. Maybe. Yeah. But I think it's more like I'll string you up. Yeah. Well, in any case, don't let your guard down. I won't. This is uh, very important for uh, Liquid because uh, Snake uh, took away uh, uh, Liquid's chance to uh, get his revenge on uh, their dear father, Big Boss. He hated Big Boss so much. If you guys watch my Let's Play on Milga Solid 5 The Phantom Pain, you will know how much Eli, who is a Liquid Snake as a boy, he hated the Big Boss with a passion. I mean, he despised him. Everything about Big Boss, just the way who he is and what he represented, he just didn't like. And the fact that uh, we basically uh, took away his chance for revenge, it's something that uh, he just can't live with or stomach the idea that we killed Big Boss. But I want to quickly go down here. Good. And uh, we're in the um, next area. Metal Gear. So, oh yeah, this is when we used to uh, quickly uh, insert the disc two if we want to continue the game. So what I'm going to do right now is quickly switch to a disc 2, good, uh, the system will switch to disc 2, there's no prompt game, you may not be able to continue the gameplay, do you want to go ahead with this operation? Oh hell yeah, and uh, press start after inserting, okay, good, now checking, oh, but man, it's pretty cool that in the uh, digital download for on the PS3, which you can get on the PSN, uh, we can do this option, you know, switching to disc uh, 3 and stuff, but uh, yeah, here we are, and uh, that's the end of the episode, guys. By the way, if you, if you notice, our ration is frozen because we were outside the cold for too long. That's another one of those details that uh, Kojima-san got right. And uh, there's so much about this game that's way ahead of its time. I mean, it's very dated right now, but even now, games aren't really uh, as advanced as like Metal Gear Solid was. It's just one of those reasons why Kojima-san is really a genius and he is the auteur game developer in video games and why he is, I'm sorry, but he is the, uh, the godfather of all game developers. No disrespect to Naughty Dog, Ubisoft, uh, Bioware, but it all started with Konami and Hideo, Hideo Kojima. Now, Konami had the fallout with Kojima, but uh, yeah, those two, they made gaming with Silent Hill, Metal Gear Solid, and Zero Zone of Enders. I can go on and on, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. 
Hope you enjoyed the video and as always uh, please like, comment, subscribe, check out the last episode. Until next time, peace out, take care. Adios, amigos, au revoir and sayonara.